G'day guys, I'm Chef Guy Turlin and today I'm going to teach you how to make the largest and most delicious self-sourcing chocolate pudding you will have ever made and ever tasted. It's a really simple and delicious dish and what I love about this dish is it helps me use up an excess set of eggs that we have. We have a chicken pen in the backyard of the family house and we get so many eggs, all different sizes, shapes, you know, normal chickens, we have bantam chickens, we have ducks, we have geese and, you know, it really is these beautiful eggs that make this dessert so luxurious and so delicious. Delicious. And I know what you're thinking, how are we going to pair wine with dessert? And red wine and this chocolate pudding is mind-blowingly beautiful when you do it right. You match them together and it is luxurious, it is delicious and you know it is something that is really special. So much so that the vineyard that the Taylor Wine family have do a tasting where they just match red wine and chocolate because it is such an amazing experience and a way to educate you that yes, red wine and chocolate is a match made in heaven. So let's get stuck into this recipe. This dish is a real crowd pleaser, I promise you. And it takes only a handful of ingredients. So we have some sugar, we have some cocoa powder, some vanilla essence, some milk, some butter, some eggs, some self-raising flour. And then we have some hazelnuts, but you can use whatever nuts you'd like. Even coconut would work deliciously. And essentially, you sift together your self-raising flour, your sugar, your cocoa powder. You mix in your eggs, your milk, and your butter until you have a really luscious batter. And then you put that into a baking dish. From there, you mix together some more sugar and baking powder together, just in a bowl, nice and dry. And then you sprinkle that on top of your pudding batter. Now this is where it gets a little bit crazy because what you need to do next is get two cups of boiling water and you're gonna pour that on top of your pudding before you bake it. And what's gonna happen is when you bake it in the oven at 160 degrees for about 25 minutes, all of that liquid that sits on top flips. So the liquid goes on the bottom and creates a self-sourcing chocolate and then the pudding floats to the top. It's mind blowing, but like I said, it is really simple and it is a complete family and crowd pleaser. And there you have it guys, the most decadent and delicious self-sourcing pudding you will ever serve up in front of your family. And I've matched it with the Taylor's Jaramon Shiraz. This Shiraz is a really perfect sign of diversity in the Australian wine region. It has hints of pepper, beautiful plum and, and red kind of summer berries, which is gonna mix and match so well with this chocolate pudding. So do yourself a favor, grab yourself a bottle of Taylor's wine, give this recipe a crack and feed your beautiful family and share some beautiful wine and create some amazing memories. And we'll see you next time.